welcome to Friday's Nature Friday and today I'm in the garden I thought I'd give you a tour of the garden we could do spring watch yoga and I'll show you a few bits in the garden and um, we might even see some of the birds that have been visiting we've had a dunnock recently if you know what a dunnock is check it out so first of all I'm going to show you I've got this little area here now if, uh, let's do it swizzle it that way you should be able to see it. I've got some um, French beans growing here and I was trying to grow in that patch there a courgette but I think every time it comes up the mice eat it and normally I start my courgettes off in a pot but I'm going to pop, pop a couple more seeds in there can you see I just put a couple more seeds in there and I'm going to pat it in there like that and I'm going to put a protection over the top this time so the naughty mice don't eat the seeds now what else have I got in my garden so coming around here I've got my vegetable beds can you see the sunflowers coming up and I've got some radishes in there. I've got some, I put, I put the netting over so the pigeons don't come and eat my spinach. This is um, spring onion here. And I've got some spinach here. Do you like spinach? Do you like spinach? Not everyone's flavor, is it? And then here, yesterday I've put some, um, well not yesterday, I planted their radishes coming up. And this is a little line I've put in yesterday. And I'm gonna put some, Radish seeds. Well, actually, not radish seeds. I'll tell you what I've got. I've got something called Dacon Moolies. Now, a moolie, these are from my friend Paul. Check out what moolies are because they're a funny vegetable. And you can have these ones like a radish, so you can have them round as they're growing. So you don't have to wait for them to get to full moolie size. You must check out moolies because they're very funny. So I'm going to put these moolie seeds in now. Go with. So what I've done is I've pressed pause and I've just watered, put a bit of water in the radish, in the mooly, mooly line. And I've got the radish seeds here, the little ones, aren't they? Very tiny. And I'm going to space them. I'm going to sort of just gently pop them about one centimetre apart. And then when they get bigger, I'm going to make them about five centimetres or so apart. So if you can find five centimetres on ruler, um, that's how much I need to sort of space them, so I need to make sure they're not too squashed, otherwise the moolies won't grow. In fact, moolies might need more than five centimetres apart. So I'm going to just sprinkle... Can you hear that bird? I wonder what it is. There. And then I'm going to cover the seeds over. I hope you can see this okay, because I'm obviously filming it back to front. I'm going to cover the seeds over cover the moolies, pat them down, it's nothing, I don't do anything fancy with my flower beds. Can you see the sunflowers? So I tend to do half a line at a time, so the radishes come up quite quickly and then I put a new line in once they've come up. So I've always got some radishes to pick, even though they're moolies. I keep saying the wrong thing. Right, let's have a look over here. Can I show you something here? So if I take the brick off, there. There it is. They're very, very crunchy. Well, I think they're radishes, but my friend says they're moody. So they're very, very, very crunchy. They're lovely ones. I really like them. I'm going to order some more. So that's a little tour of my salad bed. I'll take you down the garden now and have a little look. So what have we got growing here? Got lavender. The wildlife lavender. What was that? That was... I've forgotten what that was. A lilac? Something like that. This is verbena. This is my favourite plant. It's called verbena bonarensis. Verbena bonarensis. It's a really nice structural plant. I, I learned about it on my garden design course. There you go. What else have we got? Oh, we've got some vegetable, uh, some oh, raspberries going there, I think. I think they're raspberries. They look like raspberries, don't they? Well, I didn't know they were even ready. They might be raspberries, they might be loganberries. And uh, yeah, and oh, look here. Here's a bird box. And there was a, there was a blue tit. There'd been a blue tit nesting in there. It's very exciting and they had some babies. So I'm going to press pause. Now, I've set you up on my tripod. I'll move my seed tray out the way. Take my shoes off. So I've got my yoga mat out here. This is my garden yoga mat, so it's a little bit wet. <laughs> I've, done a, I've already done my yoga this morning. I did this workout and I'm going to show you some of the things I did. I'm only going to do a little bit of yoga, I'll just show you some ideas. Um, so one of the things I did this morning was this kick up, like this. 
do a few of those on each side um, and come back to frog can't we so you can practice those obviously frog jumps so if I jump up and down you're not going to see me completely but let's do some frog jumps jumping frogs my neighbours are thinking what's she doing now <laughs> jump up you can get you can get higher than me how about that so we've done some jumping up oh and I know what we did on my workout this morning some squats so just some squats up and down Shall I adjust this you keep squatting while I adjust this Ooh. see if I can move this up a bit Ooh. I think so Move back trouble is you see you can't hear me now can you squats do a few of those you could always go like we sometimes do like that bending up and down a bit more of a workout today and then do it on the other side change foot let's go the other side hello oh. I can see you when I come down do a few of those Whew. And then what other yoga poses can you remember from previous weeks? Now you're up and out and you're doing your yoga. You might be in the garden too. <sighs> I'll breath after that. Can you think of some yoga we've done over the previous weeks? Watch the previous videos, Nature Friday videos, and find the yoga on there too. And have some fun exploring today if you've got a garden, if you've got things you can grow, get a pot and grow something, or maybe go for a walk and see what you can see. So this is Mrs. Tyson for Nature Fridays in her garden. Oh, didn't see any birds, did hear them. See the pigeon, not quite as exciting as the dunnock. You can see the bird, you can see the bird box quite either. There you go. No birds nesting in it at the moment. They've had their chicks and the chicks have flown the nest. Okay, well happy Friday. Stay well, stay safe. Missing everybody. Pause.